Welcome to another episode of WWE Monday Night Raw by The Wrestling Guy. So this Raw was all action packed and a good way to kick things to payback. Most people loved this Raw but many people hated it because a sad news was there Daniel Bryan leaves WWE. We don't know how much time will he take to recover this Thursday he has a neck surgery so we don't know how much time is he gonna take to heal or probably he will have to vacate the titles we kick off raw by the shield addressing evolution believe this it will take more than a taste of their own medicine to keep the shield down let alone shut their mouths despite being laid by evolution in raw's closing moments last week the hounds of justice were all but frothing at the mouth, daring Triple H, Randy Orton, Batista to show themselves for another fight. They seemed to get just that, as an image of an arriving limousine appeared on the Titantron. Instead of giving the veteran trio time to respond, the shield took the fight straight to the tormentors, sprinting it into and back and pouncing on the unsuspecting evolution turning them from hunters to hunted in minutes flat. Next up on Monday Night Raw, Raw Van Dam defeated Jack Swagger. Raw Van Dam's a rosebud. Who knew? Apparently, Adam Rose had an idea that Mr. Monday Night would be an easy conscription into his party hardy post. Because the NXT veteran used both his influence and affluence to lead a fellow superstar to victory, once again at the expense of Jack Swagger. The real American didn't even get a chance to mix it up with RVD at all, thanks to Rose and his procession. Swagger was so incensed and distracted, all Van Dam had to do was kick him in the face and follow up with a 5 star frog splash. Next, Divas champion Paige defeated Alicia Fox. Paige might not be one for pool parties. But the Divas champion proved herself quite the fox catcher with a decisive win over a former holder of the butterfly butterfly title. Alicia Fox on Raw. Not even a pair of match beatings by Miss Fox could stop the diva of tomorrow from seizing payback. Paige battled through was more or less a mugging by Alicia to find her flow footing and strike with a Paige Turner out of nowhere and send Alicia packing. Though not before the former champion threw a post-match tantrum and stole JBL's hat, the Fox still has claws. I don't know why, but Alicia Fox went mad after the match. She lost the match. She took off the announcer's table in some way. She um, she took off JBL's hat. Actually, she stole it. And just madly, she went behind the Titantron scene, walking like mad people. Next up, WWE World Heavyweight Champion Daniel Bryan addressed the WWE Universe. Climbing the mountain top takes its toll. Despite his torment at the hands of the Demon King, Daniel Bryan was on top of the world as recently as a week ago. But it turns out the Champions of Champions has hit a hurdle he'll need a bit more time than usual to surpass. Thanks to the three tombstones from Kane little more than a month earlier, Bryan was left with a lingering injury to his neck and even though he pulled through and battled at Extreme Rules. 
The yes man has to pay a steep price. Next surgery. With no timetable for his return, timetable for his return, Brian admitted he was not sure when he would return. But as to the question of whether he would return at all, that answer, said Brian, is yes. Next up, we have John Cena and WWE Tag Team Champions, the Usos. They defeated the Wyatt family. John Cena and the Usos have evened the score against the Wyatt family. But it looks like the Eater of Worlds is not yet ready to conclude the game. In their second match in four days against the Wyatts, Cena and the WWE Tag Team Champions took their time getting to their promised retribution, pausing instead to put an old-fashioned hurting on the backwards brutes. After Jey Uso was battered about by all three Wyatts, Jimmy took over to turn the tide before he was shut down with an authority by Lou Harper. From there, it was Jimmy's turn to suffer the Wyatt's collective wrath, an attack to Cena only instigated a bout of all-out chaos that ended in the most epic fashion possible. Two Uso superkicks to an interfering Bray Wyatt and an attitude adjustment to Eric Rowan for a 1-2-3 from the C Nation leader. Instead of his usual post-match sermon, However, Bray only had a few choice words for his arrival, a thank you for helping him re realize what he had to do. Next up, Evolution addressed the shield. Evolution is not happy. Being subjected to the shield's brazen attacks has left a sour taste in the t taste of Randy Orton and Batista. But while the Viper and the animal were chomping at the bit to put the hounds of justice to sleep, Triple H took a much more measured approach in his response. Specifically, he gave the Shield what they wanted, a rematch of their six-man Blitzkrieg at Extreme Rules. However, the game's pontification was cut short by a second ambush by the Shield, although this time the Hounds might have bitten off more than they can chew. Batista, a man of few words throughout the entire evening thus far, grabbed hold of a microphone and challenged Roman Reigns to a one-on-one -on -one match tonight. Needless to say, the big dog couldn't have been happier. Next, Nikki Bella defeated Natalia. Let's paint a picture. Natalia has a bone to pick with Nikki Bella. All thanks to Nikki's less than warm reception to the Queen of Hearts, housewarming gift on ease, total divas. And as befits a personal grudge, their match on draw to settle their differences was less a mad contest than slugfest. All slaps and elbows to the face with the rest of the total divas grading the bout at ringside. Nikki showed she could more than hang with Hart Dungian graduate when it came to technical competition as well, trading abdominal stretches with her opponent and reversing Natalia's ill-advised sunset flip for a pin that left the former Divas champion dejected, furious and hostile towards her fellow total Divas. Next, US champion defeated Curtis Axel. Perhaps it's appropriate that, before facing Sheamus, Rye Baxel left the choice of who would battle the Irishman up to a little bit of luck. Specifically, the outcome of a coin flip, although Curtis Axel might have been questioning how fortunate his win was when all was said and done. The Celt went a clobbering early and often against the former Intercontinental Champion, forcing Axel to stage a last minute rally when defeat seemed certain. Axel lived up to his perfect pedigree by beating Sheamus onto his heels. Though the new US Champion proved himself worthy of the gold he wears by breaking out the clover leaf for a submission victory. Alice for Sheamus. Ryback didn't take too kindly to the Irishman's defeat of his partner. The big guy pounced on the Irishman and dared him to throw down for a second consecutive time. Like any fighter worth his salt, Sheamus accepted with gusto. So the match that came up was US Champion Sheamus. He defeated Ryback again. Anyone can win one fight, but can the US Champion Sheamus a brawler among brawlers, when two fistive cuffs in a single evening, 
As it turns out, yes, the US champion came out strong against Ryback. Although he didn't account for the big guy's own resilience, Ryback suffered the 10 beats of the bad run but immediately reversed Sheamus' battering ram into the boulder holder. Back and forth the two bruisers went, and when it came down to the who had more in the tank, Sheamus won by a single red hair. Despite a timely interference by Axel that landed the Irishman in position for shell shock, the Irishman escaped Ryback's signature maneuver and connected with his own, blasting the big guy into tomorrow with a chain rattling bro kick. Next up on Monday Night Raw, we have Stephanie McMahon. She called out the WWE World Heavyweight Champion Daniel Bryan. Something is not sitting right with one of WWE's principal owners and it's the state of affairs surrounding the WWE World Heavyweight Champion Daniel Bryan. Despite the heartfelt address the Yes Man delivered to the WWE Universe less than an hour earlier, Stephanie McMahon, who's lately asserted herself as Bryan's primary front office foe, thanks to Triple H's preoccupation with the shield, more or less insinuated, Bryan's injury was proof positive of what she's been saying all along, that Bryan can't hang with the A-plus players of WWE. She demanded a face-to-face -face with the champion of champions, but what she got was a glimpse of just how far she'd gone by returning Kane's mask to him. The former director of operations emerged instead of Brian, dragging the beard, bearded husk of his former tag team partner and depositing him on the stage. Stephanie, who could only look in horror at her creation's handiwork. Next, we have Dolph Ziggler. They defeated Dolph Ziggler defeated Fanzango. It's a win for Dolph Ziggler in his latest dance with Fanzango. But his dancing free and can claim a victory in a far trickier contest than a tussle in the ring, the game of love. His loss to Dolph in the ring was nothing to be particularly ashamed of. Either the two longtime rivals battled with such speed and ferocity that the match was bound to be decided by which workhorse tripped up first. Ironically, the one only one who did the tripping was Layla. An attempted distraction backfired when the former Divas champion caught her foot in the ring apron, and Ziggler capitalized with a zigzag on the distracted Fandango. Happily, Layla's misfortune only lasted until only lasted until Fandango took hold of a microphone and professed his feelings. Dolph may have won, but you have won something much more valuable. My heart, Layla, I love you. Cue the tango with tongues. Next up on Monday Night Raw, Rusev threatened Hawksaw Jim Dugan of WWE's Legends House. If Rusev is looking to assert his dominance against America, then who better for the super athlete to target than the hooting, hollering champion of old glory herself, WWE Hall of Famer Hawksaw Jim Dugan. The inaugural Royal Rumble match winner was on hand to talk up the first season of Legends House on WWE Network, but Lana and the Bulgarian Brute had a more painful pitch in mind for the squared circle veteran. Luckily for Dugan, Biggie made his presence known before, before Rusev could finish the job. He took the beating intended for Dugan himself, but in saving hacks or perhaps the former Intercontinental Champion has made a cross-continental enemy he did not intend. Next up on Monday Night Raw, Cody Rhodes defeated Damian Sandow. An asterisk, alas, must be added to Cody Rhodes' first victory in weeks because the former Intercontinental Champion notched his first win in weeks thanks to a well-timed bit of dirty play against the one superstar who might be more frustrated than he is. That, of course, would be Damian Sandow whose own downward spiral began at the hands of the prince and who seemed dangerously close to the end of his rope on WWE's network's Raw pre-show. Cody did little to calm his former partner when he cut off of wood B and core of his pre-show flare-up and Sandow responded accordingly by pouncing on his former fellow Rhodes scholar.
The two superstars fought like desperate men, but Cody's straight provided proved the more dire. Thanks to a thumb in the eye while the ref's back was turned, Sanda was incapacitated and left vulnerable for the disaster kick. How's that for smoke and mirrors? The next and the final thing that happened was Roman Reigns defeating Batista via disqualification. Batista wanted the big dog, but and Batista got the big dog. Roman Reigns wanted a fight, and well, he got one. Just not the kid of fight he was expecting. The former WWE Tag Team Champion had been more than holding his own against the animal, despite attempted interference by the rest of Evolution when Triple H preempted the Superman punch by hauling Reigns out of the ring, ending the match via disqualification. Chaos ensued and Stephanie McMahon sent a baby of superstars after the hounds. Though the men in black battled their way after the scrum in high style, Dean Ambrose planted Fandango with dirty deeds atop a chair. Seth Rollins sent Curtis Axel onto the same steel with peace of mind and a final triple power bomb to ride back big guy out with the night to an end. The hunt continues. Thank you for watching guys. This was the wrestling guy with WWE Monday Night Raw review for 12th May 2014. Do leave a like to this video and keep subscribing guys. Thank you for all your support. Peace.